um, today uh, I'm going to talk about optics. Uh, this is a subject that we encounter in our everyday life. Every morning when I open our eyes to see the world, when you use your cell phone to take a photo, or have a video call with your remote colleagues or family members, optics are everywhere. So no matter uh, this is a vision system in a, a human body or in a machine, such as a camera module, there's a, always a one very important component in, in every optical system, which is a lens, or a series of lenses that form an image onto a sensor. So there are many applications that require high vision quality, wide field of view optical systems, such as imaging, sensing, display, navigation, and many others. However, unlike our human vision systems that can give us a very wide field of view, uh, combined two eyes, we can have a hemispherical field of view. Uh, traditional camera lenses, we have to involve a multi-lens assembly to achieve a similar effect. If we take a fisheye lens, for example, if we want to get to a hemispherical field of view, usually we have to stack about eight to 10 lenses together. Those are precisely polished lenses into a very complicated, very bulky module. So this uh, performance gap uh, gets even more accelerated as we go into applications uh, that need a compact form factor. You might have noticed that nowadays we can have better and better photos uh, taken from your smartphones. However, we also have to bear with uh, these uh, little uh, pops up uh, extruded uh, camera modules uh, that are on the back of your cell phone. So the reason is that fundamentally, there's a trade-off between the performance and the size of any optical systems using traditional optical technologies. So here I'm showing a traditional lens. We have to rely on the curvature of either a plastic or glass material to bend the light or to focus the light to form an image. Because the limited optical properties of optical materials and the achievable geometries on these kind of curved structures, usually if we want to get a better performance, we have to put more lenses in the train. In order to address this issue, we have been looking into a completely different technology called metal surface flat optical technologies. This is an area that has been advancing really quickly in the recent years uh, and shows many benefits in different areas. So first of all, what are the metal surfaces? So metal surfaces are ultra-thin optical devices that consist of a large number of sub wavelength array nanoantennas, also called the metal atoms. So these kind of uh, very small nanostructures, uh, once designed properly, can give us uh, on-demand control of the uh, properties of the incident light. In our group at MIT, we have recently developed a novel uh, flat metal optics uh, technology that allows us to have a very good imaging quality over an uh, unprecedented 180-degree uh, field of view. Here, we have a very simple, very compact optical architecture, which only involves a single flat, very thin piece of a glass. On the top of the glass, we have a window that allows the light to come in. And on the back of the glass, we pattern our metal surface structures. If you take a close look at the metal surface structures, it consists of tens of billions of nanostructures that are precisely designed to focus light coming from different incidence angles and focus them perfectly onto the image plane. The size and thickness of these nanostructures is only a small fraction of the human hair. And the total thickness of this optical system is only a few millimeters. And we show that for the first time, using this ultra-compact structure, we can achieve diffraction-limited or aberration-free imaging over the entire 180-degree hemispherical field of view. Using this structure, we can also image an uh, entire uh, panoramic scene. In this case, you will get very sharp images, not only at the center, but also at the edge of the scene, without any aberrations. I also want to mention that uh, this design architecture is uh, completely uh, generic. We can design these optical elements to operate at different uh, spectral ranges, addressing different application needs. You can also uh, use uh, this uh, uh, metal optics reversely uh, as a projector. So in this case, we can replace the image sensor uh, with a micro display chip and project high resolution images into the entire uh, hemispherical uh, field of view out of the optical module. This will be very useful for applications uh, such as uh, near-eye display. 
Another feature here is that we can fabricate uh, these uh, metal surfaces using processes compatible with the silicon CMOS processes. So potentially, we can uh, manufacture these metal optics in large volume and low cost. So now, leveraging the high performance and uh, ultra compactness of these metal optics, we can readily transform an array of uh, high impact applications. For example, we can dramatically uh, shrink the size of uh, cameras on consumer electronics. We can also integrate these metal optics into AR and VR headsets so that the user will have a completely immersive experience with very high angular resolution matching the human vision. You can also think about using these metal optics in very compact 3D optical sensors uh, with high precision and wide field of view that are highly needed in consumer electronics, uh, automotive, and uh, industry automation applications, as well as ultra-compact, portable, uh, high-performance medical imaging devices. Now, I want to uh, switch the gear a little bit and talk about another cool feature that is allowed by metal surface optics. For traditional optical components or systems, once the optical components are fabricated, the function of the optical system is always fixed. So in order to achieve reconfigurable functions, usually we have to involve mechanical moving parts. For example, in this case, in a zoom lens configuration. This is very complicated to design and also result in a bulky form factor. Again, we leverage the metal surface flat optics architecture and combine it with an active material to realize a truly solid state reconfigurable optical system. Actually, the flat and pixelated device architecture of metal optics is the ideal platform to realize this kind of reconfigurability. In terms of the material, we choose to use a kind of a phase change material, which can be uh, widely found in electro uh, electronic memory industries. We modify this material so that it is adapted to the optical applications. It has a very high or very good optical contrast between its phase transition between the amorphous and the crystal states, but also maintain very high optical transparency in the spectral range that we are interested in. So now we use this material to design our meta atoms. Here you can see that by carefully designing our meta atoms or the nanostructures into different geometries, we can achieve uh, distinct optical responses between the two structural states of the material itself. And then we patterned and arrayed these metal atoms into a big surface. In this case, at the amorphous state, you can see that the incoming beam is deflected into one direction. And as we switch the material state from amorphous to crystal state, we can deflect the beam into another direction with exactly the same device configuration. We can indeed realize arbitrary optical function tuning uh, using this platform. In this case, I want to showcase a very focal uh, metal lens that allows us to use a single metal lens to look into different depths of the field. In this case, we design our metal lens to have different focal lengths at its different material states. In the experiment, we use a very tiny microscopic features on a target and put it into different locations in the field. From the experimental result shown here, you can see that at one state, we can form a very sharp image of the object at one location of the field. And as we transition the lens to a different state, we completely shift the imaging plane of this metal lens. And again, we get a very sharp image, aberration-free and crosstalk-free. So this very focal lens will serve as a basic building block for a variety of complex optical systems. For example, zoom lenses in camera lens modules or microscopes we further want to improve the controllability of such a phase change process. So we further fabricated these metal lenses on a microheater integrated on a chip. In this case, we can apply different electrical signals to easily and precisely control the phase change process and allow us to have arbitrary functionality change. This is a very important step towards realizing fully integrated, reconfigurable optical systems. Lastly, uh, I hope I convinced you that the uh, metal surface optical technology is a very promising and emerging technology that allows us to have a very high performance with a very compact structure that is easily integrated with other electronic devices. 
I also want to mention that the technology I presented today are not from one or two innovations, but rather from a collective advancement from several fields uh, in the uh, science and technology development, including material science, optical engineering, uh, physics, computing, data fabrication, and others. So collectively, um, it motivates us to tackle this uh, very um, uh, challenging problem and let us think about uh, what we can do uh, about uh, optics. So for myself, uh, I believe that uh, there's a wide and dynamic future for meta-optics. Thank you.